Okay, so here's another technique. I want to show you today an escape from mount, or maybe we'll even show it as escape from three-quarter mount. It's basically how I do what some people call the elbow knee escape. And uh, if you learn how to do this, it's going to make your life so much easier. So I'm on the bottom here. I already take myself like this. Maybe I got here. So this is a fairly common position where I get his foot. So the key, one of the key things here is my arms. I cannot let this arm come across because now he's going to go through my back and I'm way, way behind. So if all you remember from this video is do not let this arm come across, you'll be ahead of the game. I see, of course, white belts, blue belts. A couple of times they've seen some purple belts bring this arm across like this and it's just a disaster. So I think of it as an amusement park drive where this bar comes down across your hips and holds you into your seat. So that's what I do. I don't have to push my hand. I just keep that across his hips. That's all the space that I need. Now this arm, I'm going to put it inside his elbow. Okay, so now I have some strong wedges. The other thing is, I don't want my hands up here by my face for grappling because it's too easy for him to start just pinning that wrist down and my shoulder's compromised. Yeah, now he might get to my back. So this isn't where I want my hands. I'm going to keep my hands down here. No there's no collar chokes you can do. And if he starts to guillotine or something, I'll, I'll deal with that. I'll deal with that when it comes. But I'm going to keep my hands on. I don't want to get my arms pinned down like this, okay? So I got this across his waist. I got that inside his knee. Here's the key now. This leg, I'm going to bring up to, toward my own face strongly. So look at his body. When I do that, it shifts his weight way above his head. So it's, he can't really attack me with his arms. If I just come on my side and curl up a little bit, he can do whatever he wants with his hands. Yeah, I can pull my arms up, he can attack me. So get on your side. You can even get almost more facing down a little bit. I don't want to be flat. I don't want to be sort of on my side. I get all the way on my side, my arms in place, my top leg drives him forward. I, I don't have to smash him, I just bring it up like this. I tilt his weight forward. Now I'm in a strong position. I don't want my legs to stretch out. When my legs stretch out, it's so much easier for him to, to claim mount. If I pull this up, it makes it so much harder for him. So essentially now, my forearm and my thigh are grabbing his pelvis here. They're just pinching on his pelvis and I'm in a strong position. So to finish the escape, it really depends on what he does. If he's got some weight on his left knee, the knee behind me, then I'm gonna turn into him. Then I'm gonna lift his pelvis, I'm gonna step out, lift him out, and get my knee between him and me. And maybe I try to get to a single leg axe here, Ashikarami. If he's got all his weight here, then I do just the opposite. I bring my leg toward me, I shrimp this way, and I bring my inside leg in, and now I have a good single leg X or Ashigurami and I'm attacking him now. So I'm going from being attacked to attack. But if I don't bring this up, it doesn't work. See, when I bring this up here, if he tries to do something with this arm, I can just tilt him a little bit and get his weight off of me even more. If I did that, I could just shrimp away and get into my legs attack here. All the way on my side, my arms are in place. Driving him up here, I'm really bending myself. And I'm not stretching out here either, bending like this. If I feel him try to guillotine me somehow, yeah, I'm gonna push his hips away and escape. I feel him reaching around my neck with his left arm. Yeah, then he has no post on that side. So then I'll post, turn into him, and bring my shin between him and me. If all his weight's on this knee, where I can't turn him that way, then I just bring my foot in and trip away from him and bring my inside knee in, and I'm in a strong position. So if you figure this out, that's good. it's gonna make escaping this position so much easier than before. Don't let that arm go across. Don't have your hands up high. Keep your arms here. This top leg, this is the key. Bring that high. And then move it out if you wanna turn this way. Move it in if you want to shrimp away, and that's your escape. So that is our, essentially our mountain escape.